Hi, this is Mama Dr. Tochi with today's interesting class. This class today will qualify as forbidden fruit, okay? It will qualify as forbidden fruit. In today's class, we're going to discuss what you need to know before you start um, connecting or affiliating yourself with deities, okay? Remember from previous classes, we talked about a spiritual crew, who's in your spiritual crew. If you're not familiar with that, please go look for my video on spiritual crew. It's a very detailed video. But then above or beyond, outside the circle of your spiritual crew, you might have um, other kinds of spiritual guides or spiritual entities. Uh, sometimes these are called goddesses, gods, deities, um, things of that nature. In today's class, we're going to briefly discuss what you need to know before you start aligning yourself with those higher level spirit guides. Today's class came about from um, some questions that have come to me in consultation, even in my coaching practice, where people are like, well, um, I've done this initiation um, to uh, Oshun or to Yamoja or to Ezulie or to, you know, one deity or the other deity to Odin, to Hekate, you know, um, but I'm not getting results. I'm not getting the kind of results. I mean, I feel good. I feel wonderful. But outside of that, I'm not getting answers to uh, my request. I'm not getting the manifestations I want. So we're going to discuss that in today's class. Why is that not happening? And what you should do about this. So as usual, go get the drink, get the snack, get the notebook, get the pen. We're going to have some forbidden fruit that some knowledge that people, especially people who go out of their way to be initiating other folk, they don't want you to know because at some point it becomes a business. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's class. So I've got my own snack here with me. It's some seaweed. Okay, I'm trying to be healthy. Somebody encourage me, encourage me to be healthy. All right, so I've got me some seaweed here. So go get yours and we'll take it away. Thank you for coming back. Mmm, this seaweed is tasty. It's tasty. Okay, no, back to class, back to class. Thank you for coming back. If you are new to my channel, I welcome you to it. I encourage you to subscribe and click all notifications on so that you know when I put out good material like this. I also encourage you to go through my channel Please go ahead and look at all the videos I have there. I, I literally have a library on practical spirituality and we're still adding to that library. Go through the library, be educated, know things for yourself. Think for yourself. Don't just take everything you hear or see hook, line, and sinker. Get yourself educated, okay? If you're a member of my channel, thank you so much for financially supporting the work that I do here. I couldn't do it without you. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the family. If you'd like to book me for your consultations, divinations, spiritual practice coaching, you, you want to start up or expand your, your spirituality-based business, if you are a religious leader who wants to add a spiritual component to your religious organization and to your religious leadership, please check me out on my website, tochi.us, T-O-C-H-I dot U-S. I have courses there, I have books, I have products, I have services, things to support your spiritual lifestyle. Please don't go through life blindly without guidance. The guidance is out there. If anybody is reaching out to you on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, claiming to be me using my pictures. They wrote you first. They're sending you messages asking you to buy something or telling you you're under a curse or stuff like that. Understand that that's a scam. Scam, scam, scam. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. If anybody writes you 
and they're telling you, oh, I have a special message for you. Scam, delete, block, report. That's what you need to be doing. Now let's get into today's class. Should I have some more of the snack? Eh, I'll hold off. Otherwise, I'm going to be smacking throughout the class. All right. So, like I said earlier, there are people who come to me and say, hey, I've been initiated into this or that, uh, this group, this cult, this organization, this society. But at the end of the day, I'm not getting uh, what I want. You know, when I join this organization or join this spiritual group or religious group, um, I was told all my money problems are going to be solved. I'm still struggling uh, with money issues. I'm going to have, they told me I'm going to have children. I'm going to get married. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. And I'm not getting those things. So what is going wrong? Okay. Now, here's something that we need to know. If you are living with me in the same house and I need salt in that house, but I don't talk to you, I don't ask you for where the salt is, but I go to a neighbor and I knock on the neighbor's door and I say to the neighbor, neighbor, can you help me find the salt in my home? A number of things could happen. You know, the neighbor, if the neighbor knows that I'm living in the house with you, the neighbor would be like, so why are you coming and knocking on my door and asking me? Why don't you ask your housemate there or your partner, your husband, your wife, your child, whoever it is is living with you? They would ask that. Now, and they would think it very strange. Why are you knocking on my door coming to ask me to help you find the salt that's in your house when you're living there with somebody? Let's say they didn't even know that I'm living here with somebody and they walked over with me and they're like, well, first of all, it's strange that you're knocking on my door asking me to help you find the salt in your home. But let me humor you and come to your home and help you find that salt. So they come over to my home and they find you sitting in my home. Aren't they going to look at me kind of crazy? Yes, they will. They'd be like, why is this woman knocking at my door asking me to come over and help her find the salt when she's living there with somebody? I need to leave her alone. Okay. So it is with her spiritual crew. Many of us are so anxious to go and align ourselves with a big deity out there, but we're not even aligned first with our spiritual crew or intimate immediate circle that is one of the reasons why we have difficulties you're not aligned with your creator you're not aligned with your guardian spirit or if you want to call your guardian spirit your guardian angel you're not aligned with your ancestors you're you're not even aligned with the spirit guides of your lineage your mother's family line your father's family you're not aligned with them you're not aligned with the immediate spirit guides that are around you and you're jumping out there oh i i'm the daughter of oshun i am the son of uh, ogun i am the son of odin i am the daughter of hekare I am the, 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 the princess, the chosen one of Alat. I am the this or the that. Why would things work for you? You need to understand that a lot of gods and goddesses, deities, they work on a regional level. They work at territorial levels. They are not meant for individuals. Can they provide you with inspiration? Yes, they can. Can they provide you with guidance? Yes, they can. Can they provide you with help? Yes, they can. But they will go through your spiritual crew first. And if your spiritual crew says to that deity, that spiritual entity, that spirit guide, higher level spirit guide, if your spiritual crew says, do not help this person, because this person is not walking according to their destiny. This person is not cooperating with us. That deity that you're running to, that you spent tens of thousands of dollars getting initiated into their cult or society or the group, will not help you. 
you will feel all nice and good singing, clapping hands, making offerings, you know, having a pretty altar and all that. But there'll be no power in what you're doing with that spirit guide. Why? Because you're not in alignment with your spiritual crew. Any deity, any gods or goddesses or whatever you call them that are out there. Oh, I'm aligning myself with Ganesh. I'm a, a, aligning myself with Lakshmi. I'm aligning myself with Kali. They have to go through your spiritual crew first. Because your spiritual crew are the ones that are closest to you that have a function and their function, general function, is to get you to fulfill your destiny. So this is a major reason why some people will spend so much money getting initiated into one thing or the other and saying, no, I'm a child of this or I'm a part of that or this, this deity is over me, ruling over me and whatnot, but they're not manifesting results in their lives. Or even if they're manifesting, they're manifesting in trickles when they're supposed to be manifesting in torrents. You have to get the alignment, the agreement, and the support of your spiritual crew, your creator, guardian spirit, your ancestors, your immediate spirit guides, before those ones will be able to unleash their power on your behalf. These deities, gods and goddesses, will not override your spiritual crew. And when I say will not, will not, because all spirit is one. They cooperate. They don't attack each other. Spirit is all one. They work together. They, they communicate. That deity you're aligning with and saying, I want you to give me children. I want you to give me a husband. I want you to give me a wife. I want you to give me money. I want you to give me this, a job, a home, a this or that. Well, first come to your spiritual crew. Come to your, to your guardian spirit and say, is this part of her destiny? Is this part of his destiny? They will go to your ancestors and say, is this part of the grand plan? If we come in here to help him get these things, is this what you laid out for your descendants to achieve? So the solution to this is very simple. Get aligned with your spiritual crew. Like I said, I have a video on spiritual crew specifically. Who, what are the spiritual crew? How to access your guardian spirit. Who is out there? Just go to my playlist on spirit guides. You will see so many videos, classes I've put out on this. When you come to me for consultation, and this shows up in the consultation, usually shows up in the Cowrie Shell consultation, I will tell the person, you need to go and reconcile, get aligned with your spiritual crew. I have a video on reconciliation, reconciliation ritual. You can watch that and do that for yourself. Very simple, very easy to do. But when you do that reconciliation ritual, the reconciliation ritual is just bringing you into alignment with your spiritual crew. A reconciliation ritual is not, oh, I've made an offering, I've satisfied my spiritual crew, so now I don't need to bother them, I don't need to worry about them, I can, they can do their thing while I do my thing, let me go back to my deity or goddess. No, 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 my darling, no, 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 no. When you do a reconciliation, it's like fixing the bridge. You're repairing the bridge of communication between you and your spiritual crew. That's all the reconciliation ritual is when you're doing it for your, your, your spiritual crew. There are other kinds of reconciliation ritual uh, classes, class videos that I have on my channel. But when you do the reconciliation ritual for your spiritual crew, you are repairing the broken bridge. You are repairing the communication that was broken. 
after that repair has to be the communication and it has to be constant. You can't just do the reconciliation video ritual and say, okay, I'm done now. I can go back to Lakshmi or Kali or Hecate or whoever it is that you're working with. You, when you are in alignment with your spiritual crew, you're in communication with your spiritual crew, then that deity can come and be part of your spiritual crew. There are many people who make the mistake thinking that, oh, if I just align myself with this deity, that's all I need. I don't need ancestors. I don't need guardian spirit. I don't need my creator. I don't need anything else. All I need to do is just align myself with this deity and that's all my life is okay. You will find out that it's incomplete. Your guardian spirit advocates for you speaks for you when you can't speak for yourself, when you are not present, when you're absent. Let's say, for instance, you offended that deity who is advocating for you. Well, I have a Baba, I have an Ia, I have a this, I have a head priest, I have a priestess, I have a this and that. Really? When you have a spiritual crew close to you, closer to you than your own breath, but you want to go somewhere, meet someone, pay them money to go and advocate for you, to intercede for you, doesn't make sense. Remember this story I told, or the example I gave earlier about the salt? It is your crew that intercedes for you, your ancestors that go there and say, please forgive my son. He's... <laughs> He's not particularly smart, but he's our son. Please just overlook his childish ways. Just help him out. It is your guardian spirit that goes in and says, please, don't, don't look at her with her gray hair and think she thinks she's mature. She's not. I'm her guardian spirit. I've been with her since she drew her first breath on this planet. I know how she thinks, please overlook that and help her. Help her understand. Let her get the wisdom she's looking for. So if you are struggling and you have been initiated into something, you're working uh, with these deities and you're saying to yourself, I've put in so much effort and time and money, but I'm not getting results. I encourage you to go back to your spiritual crew and align yourself reconcile with them start having a daily communication with them anytime you want to communicate with that bigger deity call on your spiritual group first and let them accompany you when you go to deal with that bigger deity and i guarantee you that you will start seeing results in your spiritual efforts did you enjoy today's class if you did let's have an eye in the comment section We're thankful to our creator, our guardian spirit, our ancestors, our spirit guides, the prophets, the messengers, and all those on the unseen, in the unseen realms who teach us what we need to know, who teach us the hidden knowledge so that we can be successful in life. Ashe.